What's up, Peep Squad? Peep Squad is in the building, baby. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It would be greatly appreciated. Let's get into the situation. Let's talk about Miss Candy Burris. She had none other than the icon, the idol, and nothing but the legend, Whoopi Goldberg at the Old Lady Gang. And also, Candy Burris was there to greet her and Don Juan and Aunt Nora. And in any event, Whoopi Goldberg came out to support a black business, a black sister in the business. I was like, Lord, have mercy. That's what she's talking about. Support, support, support. And also, Radar Online was a little bit jealous of the situation and tried to shade Candy. Basically saying, why is Whoopi Goldberg eating at Candy's restaurant? Because the health department, you know, the scores were very, very low. And in any event, you guys let me know what you think about this situation. And also, Candy Burris had a star star stutter event when it came to thoughts of a color man broadway production team the show and candy burris is one of the producers and she's on the production team and it's actually starring you know delon burnside from pose so you guys let me know what you think about that situation and the a-listers came out to support but we're gonna check out miss whoopi goldberg at the old lady gang Okay, whoop so you're on. Have a it's on now. Pop up banana. Bread. You are so drunk from this peach cobbler bread pudding oh, yeah. that we are having at OLG. Yes. 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 We do wish you were here, but we're glad you weren't because it was more for us. Yes. <laughs> so if you're here in Atlanta, make sure you come here. You better. Yeah. And Candy Burris is there as well. Look at Aunt Nora. They're having a good time. They got Whoopi Goldberg there. Like, Lord have mercy. That's an A-list. Look how happy Candy Burris is. She's happy. She's thrilled. It's wonderful. It's great for business. I wonder if they're going to have Whoopi Goldberg appear on the Old Lady Gang new TV spin-off show. The new Old Lady Gang. Are they going to have celebrity guests come and eat at the Old Lady Gang? Because having Whoopi Goldberg at your restaurant is nothing but positivity, 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 baby. And in any event, Whoopi Goldberg, she was happy to be there. She loved the peach cobbler. She loved the pudding. And also, she loved the service when it came to Don Juan serving her. And also, Whoopi Goldberg was excited that the restaurant was empty because she was there and she was able to eat and have a good time and have a one-on-one -on -one with Auntie Nora and Candy Burris and also Don Juan. Look at Don Juan working his ass off. Look at Don Juan brown nose and up to the top. Look at Don Juan doing what he's supposed to do. That's why he get paid the goodest and the best, baby, when it comes to Candy Burris employees. Candy Burris don't play around at all. If you on Team Candy, you working with Candy, Candy's going to make sure you go to the top. She's going to make sure she help you get there, catapult you to that spot that you want to be and promote you. She'll promote you on her YouTube channel. She'll promote you on her Instagram. She's always putting money in black people pocket. So in any event, you guys let me know. Know what you think about the situation and then we had radar online trying to be shady towards candy burris as soon as they found out that can't that candy had miss whoopi goldberg there they basically dropped the story like oh my god whoopi goldberg is over there at candy burris old lady gang restaurant and even though you know she didn't pass inspection and things of that nature Sure, when it comes to the health inspector, I was like, Look at the shade, look at the shade, look at the shade. I mean, they throw all types of shade at Candy, but that's all right because Candy's basically doing her thing. No matter how much people hate on Miss Candy Burris, guess what? She always quiet them down with the work that she does, and basically. Candy Burris had the opening of the play on Broadway in New York, Manhattan. I was like, Lord have mercy. Candy Burris is not slowing down. She's on Billboard. She's at the theater. She's on Broadway in Manhattan, New York. You can't beat that. And she had a star-studded event. A lot of people came out to support Candy Burris. As you can see, the thoughts of a colored man broadway production starring dion burnside from pose so you know 
it was all the way together and people are giving great reviews to the Broadway play and Candy's a part of the production team she's a part of the team you got Nick Cannon there there were so many people there to support you know Candy Burris you had you know Juice Adora she was in the comments and people was just really supporting Candy Burris and also um, you had Zanique she was there I was surprised Zanique was there you know what I mean T.I. and Tiny's daughter because she always stay up in the house and also you had Freddie Jackson was there as well. You had Nicole Ari Parker. She was there. Felicia Richard. She was there. Freddie Jackson. I already said his name, but he was there. Vogue Magazine was there. I was like, Lord have mercy. Riley was there. Candy Burr's stepdaughter was there. Todd was there. Wyclef was there. It was so many people there supporting Candy Burris. You know, and this was basically a preview of the Broadway production show that is going to be actually premiering in New York throughout October and maybe longer. So you can see that Candy Burris, everything that she touched turned the gold, turned the diamonds. She don't play around with the situation. Winning the mass Singer, being on The Shy, having Candy Coded, her YouTube channel, being on Real Housewives of Atlanta, and also supporting all the people that she is working with. You see Cynthia Bailey, Shamia, she's in the comments too as well. They are supporting Candy Burris because she's doing it big, baby. And she always kill the haters, you know, with the work that she does and what she produces and how she continues to strive and be better and better. And then she brings people along with her. I was like, go ahead, Candy Burris, do your thing handle your business you know people been talking about her restaurants and you know basically really upset with some of the service and things of that nature but yeah whoopi goldberg dropped down at at the old lady game so that tells you you know whoopi goldberg is here for her sister candy berry she came out i was like whoopi goldberg you don't be seeing her nowhere but on tv and whoopi goldberg came out to support miss candy Barris. i was like lord have mercy and in any event they said the play thoughts of a color man the Broadway play that's going to actually be in Manhattan, New York, they are saying that it's like a revolutionary, you know, mirror of, you know, black men and shows every strength, wonderful, funny, caring, vulnerable, emotional, complex people that they are that... It takes place and it actually opens up people's mind and their heart. And it doesn't re it doesn't matter what race you are, what gender you are, or what age you are. You will come with an understanding and everybody could actually relate to this play. So it's getting great reviews. People are loving it. People are saying that this is actually the best thing ever. The best thing since sliced bread. I was like, Lord have mercy. So Candy Burris, she's holding it down. She's doing her thing. And she's all the way in New York producing a Broadway play. Baby, everything she stamped her hand on, it turns to gold. So you guys let me know what you think about that situation. I was like, I couldn't believe Freddie Jackson was there. You have Mona Scott. Mona Scott was there as well. You know, so many people came out, you know, to support Candy. So Candy knows that she got friends out here in these streets. People got her back point blank, period. It's just one of them situations where, you know, sometimes, you know, people hate on Candy Burris, but she always quiet the haters and fly above the haters with her work and with her resume that she does. I mean, she continues to be an entrepreneur and she has all the money in the world. She continues to collect and also she continues to help others, you know, fulfill their dreams, especially when you talk about the cast from The Shy. She is helping a lot of the cast members going on Instagram live with them, discussing the show and actually supporting them and introducing them to her fan base as well and also with this play like she's putting it on blast that you know she's here she's there and she's going to support the people that are actually in the play and they you know they got somebody they can call on they got somebody in Hollywood that can, is a shaker and a mover Candy Burris is definitely a shaker and a mover and the Hollywood industry and now she is actually doing Broadway like come on you gotta congratulate Candy Burris Zonik look at Zonik I was like look at Zonik cause Zonik never likes to come out the house she never likes to leave the house at all so in any event you guys let me know what you think about this situation Candy Burris is holding it down I was like mm 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 it's good to be friends with Candy Burris, not to be against her at all. 